Good evening. The cost of companionship with man's best friend is increasing. Across the state, local municipalities are now in charge of dog licensing and setting the fees. But just because the state is no longer involved, it doesn't necessarily mean that towns or owners are benefiting. Fox 40's Christine Lee has the lowdown. Licensing fees for Vestal dog owners are going up. Now, reaction to the raise in licensing fees for these bundles of joy has been varied amongst Vestal dog owners. I think that it's a very good cause. Uh, it will definitely help the town uh, have more control over the dogs that seem to get lost. It doesn't make sense really to have it. We're not paying enough taxes already. But I think it's just, uh, you know, like another tax hike. It's just very useful and very has a very negative connotation for those of us living in Vesto. Last week, the town finalized a new fee schedule. Altered dog licenses will go from $12.50 to $15. Unaltered dogs will go from $17.50 to $25. Why the increase? Earlier this year, the state announced it was getting out of the dog licensing business. Instead, it would have to be taken care of on a local level. No state financial assistance. Plus, local towns will be charged an extra state surcharge. Vestal Town Clerk Emil Bilecki says they're doing the best they can with their new responsibilities. Uh, hopefully we'll, the level of service will improve with the local uh, takeover, but uh, unfortunately our expenses have increased fairly significantly now with this new unfunded mandate. Additional charges include a $5 late payment fee if a dog license renewal is overdue. Other dog offenses, such as when an unleashed dog is left wandering on its own, will rack up a $15 charge. Repeat offenses can go up to $35. In Vestal, I'm Christine Lee, Fox 40 News.